Hey Gemini, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-September to the end of September 2021. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. But because it's general, it's not going to be for everybody's situation. But you can check out one of your other signs if you want, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. And do keep in mind that for general readings, the roles can be reversed. So let's see what is going on with Gemini for the second half of September. All right, and we have happy family. All right, okay, so I feel like this is something that somebody is really wishing for, that somebody is really wanting, or that somebody just really has this dream of having a happy family, all right? Um, I do also get that maybe you are in this type of an energy, but I'm mostly getting that this is something that somebody is thinking of quite intently, all right? It could be you, it could be your person. Maybe the both of you wanting to have this happy family together. Let's see. So, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And also, um, when I say that the roles can be reversed, it doesn't matter if you are cross-watching or not, okay? They can be reversed regardless. They just have the Page of Pentacles flip over. So, I feel like there's a lot that that you have been learning um, lately, as well as um, what is coming up for you in for the rest of September. So let's see, for the situation, we have the Ace of Cups crossed by the, two, the Five of Cups, all right. Recent past, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Near future, we have the Two of Cups. For your energy, the Seven of Wands. For them, the Seven of Pentacles. For you, we also have the Page of Swords. For them, the Emperor. And the potential outcome here, we have the Hermit. Okay, Gemini. So first of all, let me just say that there is a lot of love here in this connection, all right? Um, I feel like you're both feeling this, all right? There's definitely mutual, unconditional love. I feel like this is... Um, this is why we have the happy family card as well. Um, you both want this. You both want to be able to be happy together. And when it says family, it doesn't necessarily have to include children, but it definitely can for some of you. Um, that maybe that is your dream. Um, but definitely feeling this mutual love, all right? But the challenge here, we have the five of cups. So somebody is seeing this or something within the connection in a very pessimistic way. There's a lot of grief, there's a lot of sadness. Possibly somebody is holding on to the past, something from the past, not being able to let it go, or just thinking in a very pessimistic way when it comes to something from the past. So I feel like this is what is blocking the connection at the moment. Um, there may or may not have been another commitment in the past here, okay? Um, with this Queen of Pentacles, that's just how it's coming in for me. Um, but mostly what I'm getting here is that you went through a time period, you or the other person, I feel like it's you, where you really tried to nurture yourself. You really stepped up your game when it came to your sense of self-worth and knowing what it is that you deserve. There's something though here that I feel you're, you're kind of blocking out or you're, you have your guard up. Um, possibly for this connection, even though you're still very um, curious and interested in what is going on with this person. So maybe you are taking a step back, maybe you're kind of holding back, having your guard up, protecting yourself, but you're still kind of wanting to find out what is going on with this person. So for them, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor. There's something that this person is working on. This person is really trying to get something under control or really trying to fit the puzzle pieces together in order for there to be some kind of a resolution or in order to have some kind of a result. And I do see the two of you coming together here in the near future. All right, with the Two of Cups. Um, but there's definitely something still that needs to be resolved here. Um, with the hermit being here. So we'll see. Let's clarify. So 
let's see the Ace of Cups with the Five of Cups. Three of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles again, and the Seven of Swords. All right. So again, keeping in mind that the roles can be reversed, I feel like this is um, this is you kind of like procrastinating or waiting. All right, could be either or. Take it as it resonates. I feel like there's a little bit of a victim mentality, like kind of just really holding on to something from the past, which is, again, serving as a barrier here and kind of like avoiding really facing whatever that is, kind of like a walking away from the issue or just trying to almost like neglecting what the issue really is and just kind of sitting in this energy of feeling like things are just kind of doomed. I do feel like, like you have been putting in um, some effort, like you're trying, but it's almost like you, it's an energy of giving up here. Like before you, you get the result, um, there's an energy of, of kind of just turning your back to that, like taking some steps in a particular direction, like doing certain things. And then going back the other way, like not really um, finishing. That's what, this, so it's coming off as a, an energy of kind of procrastinating something, holding off something here. Let's see that seven of wands in your energy. And again, could this could be your person, all right? So let's see the seven of wands, which is in your energy. Four of Wands and the Six of Cups. Yeah, you're guarding yourself from this connection. You feel, again, I mean, this is like one of those connections that's like a connection of a lifetime. Um, the energy is just so intense. It's so strong. You, like the bond between the two of you is stronger than anything you have ever felt before. All right, if that's not your situation, this probably isn't your reading. But this is what I'm getting here. There's a lot of nostalgia as well as for, for how things used to be in the past and the stability that was once there. Um, but at the moment, you're guarding yourself from that. Almost like you, you want to pretend like that's, that's not there. Let me see the Page of Swords. star, the ten of pentacles, and the ten of wands. So you're, you're still hoping for this deep down, even though you're trying to protect yourself at the moment, there's, there's a deeper wish within you for this to fully come together. Um, not just in love, because I feel like the love is there, but the practical aspect of this connection isn't there. Um, like the actual commitment, the actual being together physically and, you know, building the foundation together, living together, um, having a house together, you know, um, having a happy family, <laughs> like that, it feels like it's a dream <clears throat> because the, um, the practical aspect of that is missing at the moment, but you do still wish for it. And I feel like this is... Um, Something that is what is making it difficult for you. This is what is challenging for you. The fact that you're trying to block these feelings out, but deep down, you, this is what you're still wishing for. And I feel like this is why you are still giving some kind of energy to this, to this person, possibly, possibly even communicating um, with them, but not much because you're, you're trying to hold back. You're trying to protect yourself or you're just interested in what is going on with them. So you might be, um, you know, researching what is going on with them, even though you probably kind of don't want to be doing that. Because that's what I'm getting here. I'm kind of getting like, you wish you didn't want this, but you do. So 
So let's see what's going on with, with them. Let's see the Seven of Pentacles. The King of Cups and the Five of Wands. I feel like this person is putting in some effort. They're trying to figure certain things out, as I said, trying to put the puzzle pieces together to make this work. I feel like there's a little bit of mirroring between the two of you here um, in that regard because it's like you... Okay, here's how it's coming in. I feel like one of you is waiting and procrastinating on actually making something happen because you keep doing little things but then giving up and then the other person is kind of waiting for that to happen and then is left feeling disappointed because it just never it never happens so they're left waiting so one person is waiting while the other person is procrastinating for there to be some result that just um, doesn't come in and so that is what Kind of pushes both of you actually to block each other out kind of um this person here though has very strong emotions for you there's a lot of love but i feel like they're met by conflict or they're feeling conflicted about the feelings that they're feeling as well because again the result just isn't coming the practical result isn't coming the love is there but but the practical part just doesn't seem to come and so this creates conflict and it may even if you're in communication i feel like it might be the um the reason why there's arguments or just tension between the two of you even if it's not um, overtly spoken about like that's just what the underlying cause of this tension is and it can manifest in different ways like arguing about something else so let's see the emperor the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles yeah, so this person is really trying to find their sense of control, really trying to stand in their own power. Again, I feel like this, like I said before, this person is also kind of holding back. Um, but by holding back, they're also feeling very, very alone. It, again, it's like the both of you are trying to protect yourselves from, from this love because the practical aspect isn't there, even though you both have this, share the same dream of having a happy family together. So very interesting that we, because I know it sounds a little um, gloomy, but then we have the Two of Cups here showing up. So let's see that. Let's see Two of Cups in the near future. The Hierophant and the Sun, what the? <laughs> like, that's a crazy shift here. It's like, how do you go from this previous energy to this? I feel like, like we're skipping a step here. Um, but that's what I see. So I feel like there might be um, either some truths that are being um, shown when it comes to the commitment to or to a particular commitment. Maybe it's another commitment here. All right, with this, um, with the Hierophant. But I feel like it, it, this connection is just so strong. It's so fulfilling. I mean, the sun. To clarifying the two of cups with the hierophant like this is some kind of a coming together i feel like the two of you are going to feel closer there's going to be um some truths that are shared between the two of you and i feel like that there is something that's a lot deeper here that the both of you are going to learn it's almost coming in as learning from each other let me get one more here actually Queen of Cups. Like I'm telling you, this apparently you're not supposed to know the details here, it, and it could be different for everybody. But what I'm seeing here is that in the near future there is a coming together. All right, um, with you and this person um, sharing some emotions, sharing some truths, um, honesty, having some honest discussions, possibly. Let's 
Let me see that hermit though, because that's kind of like, it's talking about having to do some um, deeper inner work in order to come to a deeper understanding here. So we have the, the Knight of Wands, the Moon, let me get one more, and the Page of Wands. So this is Virgo energy. Um, some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or even with an Earth sign. Doesn't have to be. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. We also had Aquarius show up. So, yeah, I mean, it's like the two of you are coming together, but I feel like with the outcome being the hermit here, there are still certain things that do need to be revealed. There's Because we have the moon. So, yeah, something is being hidden. There's still some inner work that needs to be done between the two of you or possibly even each of you on your own. I feel like you're coming together in order to... Um, gain some knowledge or some deeper understanding here, also with the Queen of Cups, um, into this connection. There's going to be a deep understanding about what this issue is, whatever it is that you are dealing with. And then I feel like after that, yeah, you know, you, you might still continue to um, be together in this way, but there will be some work that is necessary here in order to bring up certain things that are repressed, especially whatever this Five of Cups is, whatever somebody might be holding on to from the past that's just kind of sitting there that hasn't completely surfaced. I feel like that is what is going um, to need to happen here. And this is what is going to move things forward. This is what is going to put the both of you on this new path. So, Gemini, if this resonated, let's see your final message. All right, and we have rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. And yeah, you know, this is really reminding me of this happy family. So I feel like what this is saying is that this potential to have this is definitely here. As long as you're doing this um, inner work, um, <clears throat> be grateful for the blessings that you do have, appreciate them, notice them, and use them to your advantage in order to be able to bring to the surface whatever these um, deeper unresolved issues might be because that is what is going to put you on this new path and lead you to this rainbow. All right, Gemini, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.